Are you a stress eater? Well, before the pandemic, the American Psychological Association estimated more than a third of adults in the U.S. were overeating or eating unhealthy food due to stress in their lives. And since the pandemic, that number has grown closer to 50%. In today's Living Well, we're learning clearing your plate starts with starving that false hunger. The methods we're using are not dealing with the root cause. It comes from stress. And that is why Dr. Laurel Mellon, the founder of Emotional Brain Training, says dieting and losing weight is difficult and the problem may not actually be your food. The problem is that underneath it, your brain is pretty stressed out. To be really successful with weight loss, you have to appreciate that on the day you were born, you knew how to eat pretty healthy. You know all these things, and yet it's in your emotional brain. Your emotional brain is very sensitive. So the first step, she says, is do not judge yourself. The best thing you can do is say, I will not judge myself. The next thing is to say, look at, yeah, I overate, but the problem is not me. It's just that I have stress in my brain. The problem is stress. You also need to identify your stress style. Dr. Mellon says there are three main types. One is mine, which is to go low. I get anxious or depressed. And one of them is an absence of feelings. When you have no feelings, that means your brain is stressed out. And the last one is a false high where you say everything's fine. I feel absolutely great, but you're not really grounded in your body and you really are stressed out. Dr. Mellon advises cleansing your stress also involves communicating how you feel. If you suppress your emotions and start overthinking, you will have more stress. You can't relax your way out of this stress because it's in your brain. It's been accumulating. And she says research shows based on genetics, the easiest and quickest way to clear stress is to use those emotions to connect with yourself, not food. People had shut off their stress and connected with themselves so deeply that they had endorphins and dopamine. That's how you biologically cleanse yourself from the extra stress that all of us have been dealing with. Every aspect from sleeping to eating to health to relationships is going to improve. Dr. Mellon also says successfully handling your stress has longer lasting effects than you might realize. If you're able to demonstrate what that looks like to your children, they'll grow up better equipped and with habits like stress eating, they'll be less of a factor. News